I'm a dietitian and I only ate fast food for one whole week. Hold up, before we get there, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and also give this a thumbs up if you like it. All right, let's get to it. Now I wanna get right into the week and how it felt, but I think it's important that we define fast food. What is fast food exactly? Because when you say fast food, we mean quick and convenient. And if we're just talking about food that is quick and convenient, this could be fruits or snacks that are so easy to get and on the go. The first thing that we usually think about when we think of fast food is red, or at least that's for me. Because if you notice, many of our fast food chains are in the color red. I read this article that said that psychology-wise, red is supposed to be the most exciting and appetizing so that's probably why most of it has a little hint of red here and there so i consulted google and found a few different definitions for fast food number one definition is that fast food is a type of mass-produced food designed for commercial resale so anything that is mass produced and commercially sold is basically fast food food that can be prepared quickly and easily and is sold in restaurants and snack bars as a quick meal or to be taken out, drive through or even delivered. So our definition of fast food for this video is a chain restaurant or commercial place that sells a relatively quick meal and a full meal at that. We have our definition clear, let's move forward. The question we are going to try to answer in this video is what happens when you only eat fast food? Is it automatically bad or unhealthy? And how can we navigate it if our only option is fast food? I do have a quick thing to add that at the time I was filming this, it was PMS season. So a lot of the things that I felt did coincide with my hormones. It is day one of the fast food for a whole week. I am a little bit scared, but since it's day one, I'm kind of excited. I did decide to order just from one place. I wanted to save on shipping. This is the seasick bowl. Gotta mix it. Why do we eat fast food? They taste delicious. This is good. There's like not enough rice for the amount of sauce and mayo that it has. It's kind of overpowering. I saw this video that once said scientists kind of go through a specific amount of sugar, salt, and fat to make sure that this dish is really dopamine releasing the moment it hits your mouth. Maybe that's true. Maybe they are trying to figure out the best way to make it as much of an experience as you can, even from the first bite. Spicy. Oh, I just got some hot shots. <laughs> Cabbage is the only veggie I've had today. My only issue was that the KFC zinger was not satisfactory. Day two, we are going to bring Yana to the Department of Foreign Affairs. She woke up, did not have a good bathroom break. It was terrible. I think I was disrupted by my sleep and my waking up. The poop was hard. Another reason why we love fast food is fast food chains are everywhere. They are super accessible. In almost every street and main road, there is at least one fast food chain which makes it very convenient for you to find something to eat, especially if you are incredibly hungry. Plus, drive through if you're on the go. Okay, we have our first meal out and about. I've got pancake, also a hash brown. And then by lunchtime, because I wanted to add fiber because the poop that morning was not great, we went to Tokyo Tokyo. Where are we at? Tokyo Tokyo. So we're at Tokyo Tokyo. I don't know if this is considered fast food. It's a little bit fast. They have their own kiosk. It's red. Funny sad story is we had an apple pie for breakfast uh -huh. so I couldn't eat it yet and then when I got home I accidentally put it in the trash with all of the trash. So Tokyo Tokyo is one of those places where is it fast food but because it does have many chain restaurants and I think KFC owns it we considered it as fast food. Afternoon hit and I was oddly super hungry. Usually I'm hungry enough for a small snack but not too hungry that I would need a full meal and by snack time of day two, I was incredibly hungry so that we had to have the Jollibee chicken, which it didn't have to be that, but that's what we had. Sauce of that, I don't like it so much. To try something new for dinner, I went for some chow king. And it was the first time that I have eaten there in so long. So it was really nice to see how the menu was actually quite diverse with a lot of different options. I should have gotten the fried rice, but I got the pancit canton and that was not satisfying for me at all. But the buchi definitely made up for it. Another reason we tend to eat fast food is it's because it is fast. And in the hustle culture that we have right now, we are going and going and going, and we don't have a lot of time to prep our meals at home. We want something convenient and easy, and that's where fast food comes in. It's a working morning again, so I don't have time. Let's order some breakfast. Burger King breakfast. I've never tried Burger King breakfast, actually. Let's do it. 
Honestly, this is my favorite breakfast of the whole week. You should not be missing out on Burger King breakfast, you guys. Their hash bites, serap, as in. Mm, that's pretty good. I must say, these hash bites are amazeballs. And if you put it in the sandwich, there's an added layer of deliciousness. When I ordered Chow King dinner the night before, I also ordered for lunch so I wouldn't have to double by booking, you know delivery fee. Same thing happened as the day before. I was incredibly hungry by the time snack hit, so we decided to do a little mini stop 7-Eleven run. Next, it's very affordable. A lot of chain restaurants sell food at very affordable costs for a full meal. Hi to the vlog, everybody! I am going to say that 7-Eleven food is superior through mini stop, except the fried chicken and mini stop is really great. For some reason, I was craving carbonara. Usually carbonara is a very hit or miss. So we went for Papa John's and the carbonara wasn't that great, but their Alfredo was amazing. Honestly, I wanted the pancake house one. It's not really fast food, so bright version called citrus. It looks like something that's on TV so that they don't get charged for branding. <laughs> Maybe you can try mine first. Thank you. I like the texture. Day four was the start of that energy drag and drip, and I was starting to feel tired. Good morning, it's day four. I didn't drink a lot of water yesterday, so we gotta make up for some water today. A big factor, I think, was also that we had Tim Hortons, and we ordered so much, but none of it was satisfying. The only thing that I like from Tim Hortons breakfast is their plain bagel. The other sandwiches and things I, I wouldn't really say was good. And apple fritter, and they were so expensive too. By the time lunch had hit, I was so excited. My sister bought mang in a sal. Thank you sisters for being so supportive and helping me shoulder the cost of this week. So we ordered some mang in a sal. It was delicious but not as satisfying as I wanted it to be. The problem that I really had on Thursday was that I was so drained and tired in the afternoon and I was so hungry, I couldn't even think of what to eat. Okay, it's dinner time. I think one of those biggest struggles I've been having is I don't know what to eat anymore. I mean, I would probably just like eat the same thing, but I want to try different things as much as possible. We're doing Pizza Hut today. Let's do it. Fun sip. <laughs> Breakfast was hard because I was so hungry and because it was a holiday, I couldn't find anything on Grab. So I ended up eating leftover pizza from the day before. I did try Tropical Hut for lunch and I will be honest with you, that is definitely some false advertising on that app because their sandwich looked this thick and it was this thin. I had to load up one Coke Zero to help me feel full for that meal. And then I had my heaviest meal of the week, which was dinner. And oddly enough, this was the first time that I felt extremely bloated after eating. Fast food, because it is something that is quick and easy, is processed in a way that makes it easier to get good and going. And more often than not, the menus are lacking many different nutrients, like fiber-rich food items, which often makes them super delicious, but not as filling as we would want it to be. This is the first night where I'm like hungry and full, bloated and tired. I just did not feel good today. Today was not a good day. And I was so exhausted already. I, I just could not anymore. I started to feel puffy around my face and other parts of my body. Thankfully, when I had breakfast, which was the Jollibee Chicken Joy, it really was exciting and made me feel a lot of joy. And lunch was also delicious because it was my favorite chicken sandwich from Burger King. We loved that. And when we had dinner, we just had a Kenny Rogers calzone, which was new, surprising, and delicious. Thankfully, day seven rolled around and actually it was pretty easy and pretty light. I didn't really think about it. I was just eating and then I was just ready for a nap. But we had pancakes for breakfast, we had Kenny Rogers for lunch, and we had Bonchon for dinner to close off our seven days of fast food. Let's dive into the cost of each day. There were a lot of cheaper fast foods, but there were also a lot of more expensive fast food places. I spent 4,577 pesos for one week for one person. I think that's quite pricey. Usually you spend about 3,000 for produce and veggies, miscellaneous things from the market for five people. Maybe it would have changed if I had only focused on the more inexpensive sources. But as you can see, when you order out a lot, it does add up in terms of price. So let's see what our nutrient intake was. P.S. 
you get triggered by calories, skip to this part because we are going to be talking about calories. Disclaimer, we're only doing calories, carbs, fats, and protein because data for sugar, saturated fat, and sodium was very inconsistent. I do want to add that I tried to stick to the same amount of calories that I usually consume because I wanted to make up for any confounding factors to see how I would feel with the same amount of calories but different type of food. So this is our sum up for all of the days. Most of the days actually really helped me hit my protein target more than I would when I'm not eating fast food. So that was very interesting. But my fat intake was a little bit higher than usual and my carb intake was actually lower than on a regular day. I do want to emphasize a lot of this nutrition information has margins for error. I filmed myself at the start of the week and at the end of the week and this is the difference. I think it was mostly in the feeling of puffiness and water retention that I was struggling body image wise when I was consuming fast food. I don't think it's so much as making you look a specific way. I think a lot of it is our mental thoughts that tell us that this food is bad, so it's making me look bad, mostly in how we are feeling as well. Is fast food addictive? Because when we eat it, we feel like we want more. Because these meals are low in fiber, you will feel a lot hungrier because it's not as satisfying. I am somehow feeling very, very hungry today. I think my main concern today was I felt a lot hungrier and I ate a lot more today than I did yesterday. A lot of the meals were very unsatisfactorial for me. Hungry and full. There were so many times in the afternoon where my energy levels were just drag and I was incredibly hungry because I wasn't satisfied. Where's Rebecca? Energy down. I'm tired. I've been feeling this like drop and lack of energy. It's not so much the fast food in its own is addictive, but more as to we are not having a well-rounded nutrient intake that makes it feel like our body wants more. And your body is so smart and it can tell you those things when we learn to listen. Throughout the week, because I was eating fast food every single day, I actually started to get sick of it and I just wanted something new. There's that. I had so many paper bags, so many plastics, and while you can minimize it in terms of when you order, if it was possible to dine in the fast food or possibly bring your own packaging, it could be very helpful if we're consuming it on a regular basis. <laughs> Oh my god, sorry! Accessibility is one of the biggest factors towards health. Because fast food is the most accessible to so many people, we tend to gravitate toward these. And because they're usually less satisfying than most of our meals, we tend to eat more because we need to have more to feel satisfied. That's why you have your tipid meals and value meals because usually a burger alone is just not filling. You need to have your fries and your drink and your ice cream, which makes it calorie dense but not enough filling value. If as a dietitian I was asked the only thing I can eat is fast food because it's the only thing available to me and it's super convenient and easy. Of course the target would be to make some quick homemade meals to help your budget and also to add some added nutrients but one thing we can do instead is focus on what we can add to our fast food or if we can choose more balanced options when we are ordering out. Fast food isn't inherently bad and we shouldn't demonize people's food choices because we don't know where those choices are coming from. It is important to know what we are feeding ourselves but it's important not to judge ourselves when we don't have much accessibility and choices available. So that is the end of this video. I hope that it was enjoyable. I hope that you learned something in any way. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give it a thumbs up, and I hope to see you in the next videos. All right, till then, don't forget, you always deserve to eat. Bye!